Hey everyone, Robles Jr. here, and today we're going to take a look at an emulator for the PSP, and this one is the MAME for All, and it's an open source emulator designed to recreate the hardware of our old arcade game systems. And I did have a fellow viewer who's been following the YouTube channel here for six months, and he has been having issues on how to install this emulator. So, thank you so much, Jonathan, for reaching out to me. And I hope you find this video helpful. And for everyone else who wants to have this emulator and play all those awesome classic games. So let's take a look at it here before we get started with the installation process. So here is the MAME for All wallpaper, kind of interesting. And now it loads up all of our ROMs that are available to play. And I did install like 10, 15 games. And this is one of the issues that this emulator has and not every single game will work unfortunately and he did name some of them that he wanted to play and i was testing them out here uh, one of them was the main event and this one was working just fine and i really like how it looks here it's nice and clean so if i choose pac-man it's not going to run for some odd reason and i did install all these games the same way I did for the main event which is working so let's just run a game here real quick and I'll get into all those details in just a minute there it is it's running perfect and there it is it's very interesting how this works so it's just loading up here. It takes a little bit of time. There we go, now we can select our character. Let's choose this guy. And our tag team partner is going to be this other guy. So Saturn 6 and Conan the Great. And the analog does work. And yeah, it's looking like it's working just fine here. Alright, so let's get started. Before we connect to USB mode, I will show you my firmware. Real quick. Just in case you have any questions about that. So I am running 6.61 Pro C Infinity 2.0. And this is a PSP 3000. So let's head on over to our USB connection and enable our USB mode. All right, let's head on over to our desktop and click on the first link in the description down below. And that will take you to psx-place.com and here is MAME for All version 4.9 R2, released back in 2016, so it's not that old. And what you wanna do is click on this big green button here that says download now. You don't wanna click on the link here. Uh, I know a lot of people get confused and click on this link and think that's the uh, download link. But I did miss this the first time. That's why I'm mentioning it now. And you want to click on download now. And it's 1.7 megabytes. Perfect. Here's our zip folder. And what we want to do next is extract these files. So let's right click. And I will be using 7-zip program to extract my files. And if you don't have this program, I will leave a link in the description down below for you and we are going to do extract here that way we can pull the folder we need out of the main folder there it is ready to go we can delete the zip file so open up your PSP USB drive and what we want to do is go into the PSP folder go into game if you don't have categories plugin enabled you can just drag this into here and you're good to go for us who have the plugin, we're going to have to uh, throw it into one of our folders here, subfolder. And I have my emulators folder here, so we can just drag this into this folder. And we're good to go. And as far as the games go, guys, I will show you how I have these games installed. And for the most part, you want to leave them as a zip file. I did try to extract the files, and they were not working, unfortunately. So let's take a look here. Let's go open this up. And there's already a folder called ROM, so you can just use that. So here are my ROMs copied over. As you can see, most of them are in the zip file or zip folder. 
and they're not extracted. For main event, the game that we just played, that's the one I've been uh, using, this zip folder. So for some reason, it does work with the zip files. And some of them just don't want to run. For example, Contra and Pac-Man, they do show up in the list and they're read by the emulator. But when I go run it, which I'll show you here in just a minute, it doesn't want to play. I'm not sure why. And hopefully, I'll make a part two about this in a later video. But for the most part, this is how you want to set up your ROMs. Just leave them in the zip file uh, folder or zip folder and just leave them that way. I have Rampage here, it did not work. Uh, it could possibly be that some of these ROMs are just not fully functional, just, I don't know. There's so many different cases that could cause the games not running. And I see a lot of people having those issues even with the Game Boy Advance emulator and the Super Nintendo emulator. So it just depends on the ROM at the end of the day, so. All right, so here we are back on our PSP and we're gonna go check out that emulator here. There we go. And I really like the logo, it looks nice. Now it does take some time for this emulator to run. So you're just gonna have to wait a little bit. Just reading all the files and making sure that the ROMs are properly installed or they're the correct ones. And if you don't have any ROMs or the ROMs are just not working, you will get a black screen saying no ROMs were found. Please restart the program or something like that. So here are the ROMs available to play. And by selecting a game, you can press start or square. So let's go back. Here is the start button. Let's go back by pressing X and square again. There we go. And now these different options show up. We have video, we have frame skip, video clock, video sync, sound, audio clock, controller configuration, no save configuration, dip switches configuration, PSP clock, whoops. And that's it. So I really don't mess around with these options just cause they're more of the basic and I don't see why I would need to change some of this stuff. But for the video, we can change that while we're playing by pressing the L and R buttons together. So let's uh, confirm the game here by pressing square. And now it's loading the ROM. So this one says ROM is okay. But I did test this one out before I made this video and it wasn't working. It just keeps going back and forth in loop. I thought it was working. You can see the uh, main screen here. It says insert coin and it just looks awful. And then it restarts again and I can't really play the game at all. And there's no way to go back to the main menu. So every single time you will hit the home button and restart the game. That's unfortunate about this emulator is that you will have to restart it every single time to play a new game. Which is not bad. It takes, depending on how fast you got going on with your PSP, like for mine, it will take some time because I am using an adapter and it, it takes a long time to read. It's it's a little it's a little sluggish. So let's go back in here and try another game. Alright, so let's try Pac-Man press square and now it says error reading reading <laughs> reading so now we have an error reading roms unable to initialize machine emulation load fail press square button let's go to contra press square and we have the same error going on here let's try main event press square square again and out of all the 20 games I tested, this was the only one that worked. And I was like, I'm not going to make this video if none of these ROMs work. And so luckily this one came in to save the day. 
There's the audio. There's our official ratings. The audio is a little bit off. I'll lower it here. Alright. Wait, am I really fighting right now? Oh yeah, I am fighting. That's interesting. Now, if you press the L and R button together, you can change the scale of the video. You have a very tiny screen, and then you have a much larger screen, and you have the full screen, which is a lot better. And I'm going to lose this freaking game here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> So I hope Jonathan that was helpful for you and you found some solution there with this video. And for all the enthusiasts of the arcade games you can finally play them on your PSP now. So I will cover more emulators here in the future. If you have any recommendations please comment down below or email me personally. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Any questions comment down below, if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.